Jay Phillips, producer of an award-winning film, Eat Wheaties, and a Brampton resident, regarding support celebration for artists from Brampton. And uh, David, welcome to the Brampton City Council. Uh, you are in the session. You can address council. Hi. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm honored to be here. I'm a very proud Bramptonian. Uh, from the H section. Uh, thank you for Councillor uh, Rowena for inviting me to speak today. Um, I've been going back and forth between uh, Brampton and Los Angeles for the past 12 years and I've produced uh, now 14 feature films and my latest feature film is called Eat Wheaties starring Emmy Award winner Tony Hale and if the clerk could uh, run the tape uh, I, I've provided a trailer to show you guys. Thank you David. We'll bring it up here momentarily. Great, thank you very much. I feel bad because I brought you to a place that I feel comfortable with on our first date. First dates are always weird. My pets just sweat when I'm nervous. Feel my hands. Oh, your hands are sweaty. Do you want to stay over or? I have to let my dogs out. Ooh, let your dogs out. Do you want me to bark? No, 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 you don't have to. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Sid, Tom's brother. You could yell at him all you want, much like his wife Janet does. He pushes my buttons. <laughs> I idolized him. When you say it like that, it makes me feel bad for him. Yeah! You are the co-chair. The pen reunion, isn't that cool? All of our coordinating will be done on Facebook. You need to get on social media pronto. The whole world is online. Tell me about it. I even got my law degree online. Uh, did I ever tell you that I was friends with someone famous in college? She's a pitch-perfect actress. You were friends with Elizabeth Banks? Yes! And she knows who you are? Yeah. I mean, I think she does. Dear Elizabeth, I just remembered something you used to do in college. You would wave and you would say, Eat Wheaties! Dear Elizabeth, random, but do you remember I was in that comedy improv troupe, Booty and the Whole Fish? Do you remember we took Eat Wheaties? Eat Wheaties. Eat Wheaties. Eat Wheaties. <laughs> Who's Sid Straw? He says he's a close acquaintance of Elizabeth Banks. There is no such thing. He's writing crazy posts on Elizabeth Banks' fan page. They went viral. What does that mean? It means a lot of people saw it. You have been fired from your job, removed from a volunteer position, and publicly mocked for your celebrity obsession. He also just moved in with his parents. <laughs> I don't know if that was necessary. No, I don't know. Stop trying so hard with everything. This is not about Elizabeth Banks. This is about me. Ah. Confident about who I am and what I've become. <laughs> I like your optimism. You gave a wedgie to Sharon Stone? It's my claim to think. Do you like keep in touch with her and stuff? No. She's Sharon Stone. You can continue, David. Uh, yeah, so so yeah, that's that's uh, that's my feature film, uh, Eat Wheaties, and uh, we released last weekend in theaters in uh, the United States and also on demand, and uh, and then this weekend we released in Canada where we're on. Uh, unfortunately, obviously in, in Canada things aren't as open as much, and theaters aren't as open as much. But we uh, we're going to be on demand on the Bell and the Shaw and the Rogers and. Like every smart TV, you just got to say it in and it'll come up. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super proud of this. And um, I'm also super proud to come from Brampton. I think, uh, you know, I, I was contacted by the Brampton Guardian and, and did an interview with them that uh, I believe comes out on Thursday if someone can grab me a hard copy. Um, but I, I, was, I was thinking about Brampton. I was thinking about the, the, my roots there and, and the multiculturalism and the support of the arts that was there when I was growing up. Uh, to have really encouraged me to take that leap and to try and and, and keep going and do things. And uh, I think that gave me a perspective on life. And I think that gave me a perspective on the arts uh, that made me pursue this. And so for that, I'm really grateful. And I'm grateful to come here today and, uh, and show you the film and just say, um, you know, as a proud Bramptonian, I, I really appreciate the support that was there when I was a kid. And I hope that support continues. And uh, as easy as it is to cut arts funding, I'm sure, because there's not a tangible thing that you can uh, see sometimes, uh, it's what makes life rich and whole. And so hopefully, uh, you know, doing Shakespeare in the Square, uh, doing plays at the Heritage Theater. Uh, I actually hosted Brampton Day a bunch of years ago when uh, uh, Mayor Susan Fennell 
was was there and uh, and yeah those are the experiences that really help shape a person and, and lead them to to do things and I'm grateful for that um, yeah uh, I guess any questions or uh, <laughs> anything okay well thank you well, thank you David we'll, David, we'll go to the to the question, to the question. Um, I just want to say, first of all, that's incredible. Um, I love stories like this because it's going to inspire so many others. I can't wait to see the movie. Um, <laughs> may maybe we'll have to, when we're allowed to post-COVID, maybe we'll have to have a special uh, Brampton movie night down at our Garden Square where we play this. Um, play this oh, movie. that'd be amazing. I'd love that. Um, but My I parents would come, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, so first question, and thank you, Councillor Santos, for um, speaking to this idea to... Um, to uh, have this um, special delegation. So we'll go to you first since you uh, referred this um, item. Um, Councillor Santos. Thank you. And, and through you, Mr. Mayor, I have a huge smile on my face because, uh, David, we share the stage together again in Brenton. <laughs> <laughs> For the, no, in um, years. <laughs> or 25 years. Or 25 years. It's something like that. David and I um, used to do a lot of music theater back in the day in St. Thomas Aquinas, and David um, used to hold a lot of leading roles, and he <laughs> was one of the top talents um, in Brampton, and uh, we were supported by a mentor of ours, Tony Rosa, who is actually now a counselor in Bolton, and, um, and he's still one of our mentors, and, and to see you, David, uh, be so successful, um, it warms my heart all of our Aquinas alumni, all of our drama crew folks, it warms all of our hearts. And I, I really wanted to have you here today because sometimes the city um, really brings a lot of, uh, we have a lot of sports folks who show up and delegate about the, their success. We don't have enough artists coming to share their stories and yours certainly is a successful one. So, so proud to share this stage with you on council today and <laughs> thanks to your parents. Um, I do have a question for you which is, um, what advice would you give to aspiring artists here in Brampton? Well, I think, uh, you know, I, I, oddly, I think, like, uh, failing. Just keep trying and keep failing. I think a lot of times in our life, you try something once and it doesn't go your way, you give up. Um, but all the people that I'm surrounded with in Los Angeles and the people that have actually, you know, had success are the ones that just picked up a camera and tried something, really failed at it, and then did it again and kept dusting themselves off and going with it. Uh, I mean, the second you pick up an iPhone and shoot something, you're a director. The rest is just getting better and negotiating your fee. I think some, uh, James Cameron said something like that, and I think it's absolutely true. And so that's the first thing I would say is just keep doing stuff. And, and, and the second is just be kind. Uh, ultimately, people like working with people that are nice and, and good at their jobs. There's a lot of people that are great at their jobs, but they're not fun to be around. And so even when we're, you know, even when I was going to the Stratford Festival, the artistic director said, you know, it's not just about your audition. We have to live with you for nine months. It's about your personality and who you are as a person. And, and I know myself as a producer now, I really understand that. And so I think just keep trying and failing and keep on going and getting better and better and better. And then also just be really nice and enjoy the process and be, and be a good person to hang around and know how to switch gears between being that person to hang around and also doing an amazing job. So eventually you become undeniable. That is really good advice, David, not just uh, in terms of artists, but in terms of life in general, and certainly even here at the council table. Um, what, my other question is, what sort of support do you think um, we should give here at the city of the Brampton to support artists, aspiring artists like yourself? Well, you know, I, I think about the things that were there for me. And, and again, I, I, I'm not 100% aware of how the support lies in Brampton right now for the arts. But I remember doing Shakespeare in the Square. I know that was funded by, uh, and that was important because every, every year, you know, artists would perform there. I did a couple shows there and people would come out. And I remember it was a free Shakespeare in the Square. And I think providing that and just having kids come up to you afterwards and say what it meant to them and, you know, developing interest in the arts and Shakespeare. Um, I do remember uh, doing, you know, something that I felt was a little underfunded back in, in my day. We did a production of Waiting for Godot, uh, and we worked so hard, and I don't know if you know that play at all, but it's Beckett, it's really dense, and we memorized all these lines, we put it on, and there was, you know, it was funded by the government, uh, and I believe Brampton had funded it, but there was zero dollars to publicize it. So, 
no one came <laughs> and no one even knew it really existed. And, you know, I remember for me, that was one of those things that I actually learned a lot because it's like you can work really hard and do something great, but if nobody knows about it, then no one cares. And so that's, that's what also has made me, you know, really strong in making sure that these things are marketed. And, and you know, even for Eat Wheaties, we've got billboards in Toronto and in Montreal and, you know, we're doing press and we're reaching out to people because of the importance of letting people know that things exist. So, you know, I, I think the main thing is just to keep to keep supporting artists and keep things going like Shakespeare in the Square and, and Brampton Day, free things for people to come and, and see the arts and get inspired to, to keep on, on doing things. That's what I would wish for Brampton. And, and I hope that's still going on because it meant a lot to me and I'm sure it would mean a lot to, to kids as well. Thanks so much. I mean, one of the things that we are doing, and I'm the council rep for this, is the Arts, Culture, and Creative Industry Development Agency. And we're starting to get that off the ground now. And in fact, there's a call for our applications to join the actual agency itself um, uh, to be a panel member of the agency. And if you're interested in being a panel member, uh, we would love to have you part of that uh, journey uh, to support to better support the arts in Brampton, there's like lots of programming that's happening with it as well. And so I just want to say I'm proud of you, my friend. Um, wow. We're happy that you gave this delegation today. And we, I, I can't wait, we can't wait to watch Eat Wheaties in Garden <laughs> Square when the time comes. Oh, Thanks. that's fantastic. Thanks a lot, Rowan. Okay, next question is um, Councillor Williams. Hi, thank you. Through you, Mayor Brown. Didn't really have any questions. I just was really excited um, to have you here. Um, I'm the, the counselor for Ward 7 and 8, so H section. Hey, yes. I love big up. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> so, you know what? And actually, you make a really great point about the marketing. And I think that is one aspect that a lot of people um, seem to overlook. And uh, so, a really great point, and I think that is something that we, we should be really encouraging our young kids to engage in. Um, my son right now goes to Aquinas, and he is taking a marketing course, and so we often have quest conversations about that. And um, so, if you could just give one piece of advice for um, someone like my son, who um, isn't listening right now, but I can get him to watch and listen, and uh, about marketing and um, and how we can better utilize that here at the city. So, well, I, like I'll be honest, until I got involved in doing arts in Brampton, and that was you know after I graduated from Ryerson, uh, it was you know I, I'd been at Stratford, and then I came back and I did some plays there, uh, and and I just remember that you guys at least at the time, had such a vast amount of things going on that, you know, my parents who've lived there forever had no idea about until I was actually a member. And I think that's really unfortunate because there's a lot of great programs and great things. And so, again, I mean, I recognize that there's, you know, uh, probably ads in the Brampton Guardian and that sort of thing, but I believe not even everyone gets the Brampton Guardian. And so, you know, I don't know whether it's about billboards or things in malls or subsidizing some sort of things to let people know about these great programs that actually exist in Brampton. Um, hopefully they still exist in Brampton because I know they did when I was there. And I think, um, you know, what's worked for marketing, you know, this film, especially on social media now, even having paid direct advertisements towards people, you know, that are like everyone's, you know, like, like my movie, everyone's on social media and everything happens online these days. And so hopefully you know, subsidizing that and really getting the word out on Facebook and Twitter and TikTok and on platforms, the people are aware of the great things going on in Brampton. Mm -hmm. Great points, great points. Absolutely, you're so right. And uh, I think we, we as a council, we're, we're, I would like to say we're a young hip group and uh, <laughs> we <laughs> and using other platforms to really get the message out there. And um, But great advice. And I think, you know, young people listening and watching are going to take that away as, and make that a priority. So thanks again so, for coming out. Going to watch Eat Wheaties. I love the uh, preview already and it looks awesome. And a great all star cast as well yeah. so yeah thank you so much david it's been uh, great to have you here thanks so much i appreciate being here okay and um we have a question from councillor paleshi thank you david much appreciated i can't wait to see that flick it's uh, i i couldn't stop laughing it's, it's pretty <laughs> pretty funny um you, you talked about uh, the promotions aspect of it, and, and we find it so difficult here at the city to, 
to promote. Um, I think the the world's changing and evolving, and everything is moving over to uh, to social media. You're right, Brampton Guardian just doesn't have that oomph that it did that uh, that I did. You know, um, growing up back in the day, which I have to say, Notre Dame's better than Aquinas. Um, <laughs> but I I did wanna wanna highlight the fact that you know you're that success story, and there's so many other success stories uh, from Brampton. You know. You you are our ambassadors, our tools to for those promotions, and and maybe maybe in the future we can we can have that conversation to see where you know what we can when talk to you about about what we can do and 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 other uh, success stories from Brampton to see how we can highlight some of the things that are happening here in the city and and try and utilize you know better promotion techniques. I don't know if you know just throwing money at it, it, which is something that I support and supporting the arts. Um, but I don't know if that's the answer. It's it's the influencers that uh, that we need and, and, and the contacts. So if you have any uh, suggestions, and, and maybe this is a discussion for another day that we could all just kind of sit down and, and have a chat about what we can do. It's funny because there's actually like a small Brampton contingent in Los Angeles, uh, and we always like you know we you know talk about Shinkuzi Park and things like that. Uh, and so I know that there's a lot of artists from Brampton uh, in LA. You know, my two of my best friends are, are Chris Lemke and, and Chris Redman. I once executive produced a movie with Michael Sarah. Uh, you know, I've hung out with Russell Peters, and, and you know, everyone has fun things to say about Brampton and I really believe that you're absolutely right it's 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 having ambassadors and also having some funding and really getting the word out about the cool things that are happening in Brampton I mean I, I believe when I was the, the population of Brampton it's like the 13th or 12th largest city in Canada right. and I feel like there's a real opportunity with the amount of cultures and the amount of people to uh, to really blow it up a little bit more <laughs> so yeah, i think we're ninth now we're still growing wow, and, there you go wow there you and, go yeah but other opportunities we do movies in the park at uh uh at the rose and we're also doing uh uh one out in mount pleasant too so so just another uh, opportunity to to have you know your movie showcased and another uh bramptonian showcased at, on those venues thank you so much for coming really appreciate it thanks a lot mike Thank you, um, David. I would note um, Councillor Santos did a point of order. Notre Dame has nothing on Aquinas. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure we need to rule on that point of order. Uh, thank you, David, so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule. I know we're all cheering for you in, um, in Brampton and proud of your success. Much appreciated. Thanks a lot, guys. We have a motion moved to accept the delegation from Councillor Santos and Williams. Anyone opposed? Hearing none, the, the presentation is received.